and I told him the real deal about Trump that people didn't know. He was an open drug addict. Everyone knew it. None of this stuff was a secret. You know, that he was doing coke on shows 20 years ago when we'd do, you know, the, the VH1 Fashion Awards, and I used to do the beauty pageants with him in the 90s. You know, he was an open drug user, open sexual assaulter, and this stuff was just kind of accepted. Okay, and it's not um, you heard this firsthand. It's you saw this with your own eyes. Absolutely. That's when most of the drug use occurred on The Apprentice, when he had to read cue cards. He'd get really nervous, so he'd go in the bathroom, crush up Adderall. He'd come back to set. There'd be white chunks flying out of his nose, white powder under his nose. He's doing the same thing as a candidate and as a president. You know, it gives him a feeling of being in control. But he's clearly an addict. If you know anything about addiction, mm-hmm. untreated addiction as a president is the worst thing you could have. So... Yeah, he was obviously high that night. It was, uh, that was the same person we saw in The Apprentice. And I remember watching that and like, yep, he's high. And it was probably, you know, probably wasn't just Adderall. You know, he did coke, he did meth, he had drug dealers come into the after parties selling it to him. Adderall is his maintenance high. It's what he does during the day. When he gets down to Mar-a-Lago and these other places, he, he gets into it a little harder. He also uses benzodiazepine, you know, uh, Valium and stuff to come down when he hits it hard. So when you see him slurring and stuff, that's from the benzos. And, you know, the things I saw, he didn't even hide. So many other people saw this stuff. But imagine what the people are seeing right now in the White House. Do you know what I mean? We got him for an hour a day on The Apprentice, uh, Apprentice, Celebrity Apprentice, because he barely works. That's the other thing. The guy is unmanageable. You know what I mean? He just does, he's not a functioning human being. He barely works. Nine times out of ten, we'd have to cancel that day's taping because he wouldn't show up at the last minute. So imagine the dysfunction and the insanity these people are witnessing at the White House, the GOP leaders that, as you said, are enabling him.